Hello everyone, my name is Master Rolfus, and we're going to take a look at Blitzkrieg 3 in its alpha stage. So pretty much Blitzkrieg 3 is a real-time strategy game with an MO focus to it. You build forces in your base, you send those forces to attack different players, and you gain fuel and materials from doing so. These fuel and materials allow you to build more forces and upgrade your dudes and um, build more buildings in your base and build more defenses for your bases that you can defend off against other players. And, you know, it pretty much is a giant cycle of attack a different player, get the spoils of war back to your base and build more forces to attack more players and to defend your base against different players. That sort of stuff. Now, the forces you can build are pretty much as followed. You can get infantry squads all the way to snipers and assault squads and MG squads from tanks to even bigger tanks. That's really how it goes. And you can also get even crazier defenses and support gear. Or not support gear, but call in. So right now I can call in a mortar salvo, a howitzer salvo, smoke screen, some barrage, and paratrooper squads, and I can get a bunch of stuff. Remember that this is alpha, so a lot of this stuff is currently probably wacky in terms of balance. As well as the way you gain materials and fuel as well. So, yeah, don't worry. They could probably fix it. If you do see something that's a little bit wonky on the balance side, they could probably fix it up. But anyway, you can also get some defenses like howitzers and anti-tank guns later on. And the mortar emplacement. So right now, I have tons of infantry squads couple of grenadier squads and some t1 tanks as well as some light vehicles i'm going to go ahead and rearm my infantry making them a little bit more powerful i gotta do this and this uses up fuel so because i have a ton of fuel i can definitely do this okay now my guys do a little bit more damage and blah blah one more mission i have to do is pretty much to build an anti-tank rifle which i can do so from here However, I need an engineering team level 4, so I have to upgrade a little bit. And then I have to upgrade again, but I don't have enough material, so I have to pretty much chill out. Now, if I win this next battle over here against the player or an AI in this case, then I can get about 1,300 fuel and 1,300 materials. I've played the battle beforehand, so I know what it's all about. Anyway, we do have a couple of choices in terms of units we can bring to the battle. I kind of want to bring one of my cars because it does have good, some good sight. And then I'll bring in my tanks, some infantry, and some grand deers. Ooh. Just take away one of these things because I'm going to use my grenadiers to kill some tanks. Yeah, that should work out. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is okay. I want to bring tanks. I want to bring three infantry squads and some grenadiers. This is balanced. And we do have these call in, so that's good enough. Alright, let's go ahead and kick some butt. The forces you also produce in your base also defend your base, so keep that in mind. Alright, so this is the um, battle. We're attacking a base. We have all the guys that we brought along. So let's go ahead and use them. The armored car, as you can see, has tons of uh, vision awesomeness about him. So I can basically use these call-ins in order to kick my opponent's butt. And pretty much, I don't really have a opinion on the balance yet because I haven't really played that much of the game. And it's still in the alpha stages. However, I will have to say that I'm a little bit iffy on these call-ins call because they're a little bit too strong. But who knows. Anyway, let's go ahead and Kill some of these infantry units. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do this. Yeah, I damaged up both of those squads. I should have probably... I, I was thinking, like, maybe we could attack. Or not attack, but destroy both of these squads at the same time. But no, that's not going to be the case. Alright, let's go ahead and put a smoke screen on the pillbox so that it doesn't shoot my guys. We're moving in. Attack Grandiers. Oh, right, right, right. The smoke screen also applies to my guys as well. So we'll just camp outside and wait for everybody to just pretty much calm down. Yeah, 
Okay, there we go. Took very little losses. However, I probably should have waited until my grenadiers were um, basically able to shoot the, the bunker before putting them in front of the bunker like that. But it's all good. Anyway, go ahead and move up my armored car. Armored cards are very vital for getting out as much information as possible on the battlefield. Oh, he sees it. I'm gonna have to back off a little bit. Move back my infantry. Move up my tanks. Probably destroy it with a grenadiers. Good. Yeah, we're all good. These guys are a little bit suppressed, so now we can just pretty much annihilate it with massive, massive machine gun fire. I'm gonna send in this squad just to occupy this house. Or this house, actually. Yeah, this house, probably. Hmm. He's camped right over there, so let's go ahead and fire upon those guys. Get my guys out of there. Good. And now let's go ahead and use a mortar strike right here. All right, we've basically eliminated most of his defenses. We just need to clean up right now. We don't have any call in, so this is it. Let's go ahead and move up my tanks. I'm basically, really, really close to his dudes in breathing distance. Alright, there we go. That's a cleanup. Ooh, we do have a pillbox here. Is this a machine gun? Yes, it is. Okay. So I don't have to worry about my tanks. Yeah, it's going to do some damage, but not a lot. As you can see, we can tank this quite a bit. Now, if he garrison his troops, I could use assault building to pretty much get rid of them. But for now, we're all good. There's no more troops. Anyway, let's go ahead and cap this tower. And then we should be done, yeah. That's pretty much about it. And now I've won the battle so I can get all the fuel and materials I want. And because I won this battle, I can you know, use resources to pretty much do blah, 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 blah. That sort of stuff. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my factory to level 3. And then I'll have access to better tanks. Look at that. Oh, I can even rearm my tanks right now. So let's go ahead and do just that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yada, yada, yada. Can't really upgrade this until I get headquarters level 3. Which I could get right now, actually. That anti-tank gun, though. Uh, that's going to be a long ways away, actually. We have to actually upgrade the materials for it. Should have probably done that at the beginning, but whatever. Okay, so engineering team, can you be upgraded? Yes, you can. Sweet. Next time around, I can definitely build that anti-tank gun, but do I want to? 1,200 materials. I can go towards a lot of things. Then again, I'm all about finishing up those quests. Now, if I upgrade the barracks again, I can get even better infantry, grenadiers, and these MG squads. So as you can see, you pretty much get the same units throughout the game, but they're just upgraded to be better. So this infantry squad is exactly the same as this infantry squad, except in stats, as you can tell. And the same thing with everything. You do have access to more units, but yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. And the same thing kind of with the tanks, but the tanks do get way more crazier as time goes on. With the different... Um, barrels and stuff I don't know if this is it for the call-ins but they could expand upon it a little bit more I suppose again I'm a little bit of on the fence of, on these call-ins and stuff like that it's not my place hmm yeah let's take away you and we'll put in you there we go the tanks are always good and we'll probably try to no, this is probably going to be about it, actually. Yeah. 
Ooh, tons of dudes. Alright, so this next battle will probably be the same format as the last one. However, it is massive, so you never know. Also, there's tons of buildings. I don't really know how the campaign is going to be like as well in comparison, but who really knows what the campaign will be like in comparison to the multiplayer. So let's see if I can drag out whatever units are here. Some infantry units from what I can tell. Up oh, and there is the tank. Let me go ahead and skedaddle. I'll use my grenadiers to kill this tank. Right now we just need to run away. Not let those infantry units fire grenades at us and stuff like that. You know, all that good stuff. Basically be giant annoying pieces of shit. Keep moving and stuff like that. Okay, this Grenadier is very weak, so I need to put him here. Grenadiers here. Alright, but we took care of that business. Now the reason why I'm not getting too close to the well, the guy over here is because he has an anti tank rifle. Control. So obviously, I don't really want to go near something that's anti tank. Because the name anti tank means oh, your tanks are dead. But I could kill him with infantry. Which is actually surprisingly easy. Wuss wuss. Some dude got hit in the face by an anti tank shell, but it's okay. It is but a scratch wound. Alright, so we took out that control point. And now we'll probably move on to here. And that will be the real test. That's a building, so keep that in mind. That we're going to probably be facing forces that are probably getting sent. Or maybe not, it depends. Never really see the AI try to attack me while I'm in a garrison structure. So let's see if we can see that actually. Yeah, come at me, boy. Can't resist this. Can't. Okay, good. I kind of want to move up the armored car before my Panzer just get here. Now, I've been saving up these things for a rainy day, and I think the rainy day has finally come. So, what to do? Could launch some mortar strikes. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer. Ooh, there's some grenadiers there. Hmm. Okay. I guess I can launch some mortar strikes here. Well, smoke screen here. Mortar strikes all over the place. Well, not mortar strikes, but howitzer strikes and mortar strikes. Some mortars are kind of better against infantry. But I wouldn't know. Because I can't see the damage. However, I suppose we can attack like this one tank. I'm going to use all of my stuff before I use it on that anti-tank crew. Yeah, it's just an armor car. Okay. There we go. Good stuff. And we will this time use the howitzer strike and not the mortar strike. Wow, that's very ineffective against the infantry. Yeah, mortar strikes definitely against infantry. All right. Go ahead, go ahead and get a little bit closer to the battlefield. Move forward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, it seems as though we faced a second team of anti-tank the demons, which is not good at all. I'm 
gonna go ahead and back off away from those grenadiers. We lost an infantry squad. That's not good. It's definitely not as bad as what it could be. Or what it could have been. So let me see if I can take out this howitzer. Or not howitzer, but anti-tank gun. Let me just like put in my tanks to help out. Yeah, well they're called straight on the infantry. I'll go ahead and send in my uh, vehicles. There maybe should be prioritization on the gun so that if it's an anti-tank gun, it should only fire against tanks. If it's an anti-infantry gun, it should only fire at infantry. That sort of stuff. Pretty much that's that battle cleared up. We lost one guy, but he didn't cost that much. Alright, that's pretty much about it. I wonder if there's another battle. Let's see. Yes, there is. Anyway, let's go ahead and upgrade my stuff. So we will probably get some extra headquarters stuff. Because that will allow me to get better stuff in general. Oh, what's this? Okay, I'm guessing they just made my base a little bit different? Then I, I, I don't know. Just upgraded that thing and then everything changed. Oh, I guess it changed up the defenses of my base and stuff like that. Put the materials. Or maybe gave me a second materials vault. Some more defenses. Oh, that's pretty good. It's pretty cool, actually. So as you upgrade your headquarters, your base gets more and more defenses. That's actually really cool. My units are still in reserve. And I can field more units now. Can't upgrade it now. It costs... 100,000. 100,000 materials. How am I supposed to get that? I'm guessing they want me to continue battling. So let's go ahead and upgrade this materials vault. And we'll upgrade this one as well. So I just get a metric ton of forces available. And now I can get some... Hetzers. Whatever it's, however it's pronounced. And I can get some assault squad. So I'll get the Hetzers. Ah, oh, now I can't get assault squad. Shit. Heat. Well, I can use the fuel that I have. Oh, I can't. Because these things cost a lot of fuel for some reason. Probably because they're got here. Alright. So let's upgrade our fuel depot so that we can get some more fuel. And that's pretty much about it for the game, actually. You pretty much just fight. Get some resources. And use those resources to build more forces. To fight more and defend your base more. I'm protected for a little bit, actually. For some reason. As you, as you saw, maybe on the top left corner it said protected for 58 minutes or so so i'm protected from attacks now i'm guessing my resources can also be stolen by um players so pretty much i have to be wary of that this kind of happened to me in travian where i kept trying to build up a ton of forces but this dude kept harassing me with like a fuck ton of cav he was playing as the romans i was playing as i think the barbarian factions i'm not sure Tra travian was weird the tribal, the tribal Wars acts the same way. In fact, this game is very similar to Tribal Wars and Travian in that sense. Multiplayer-wise. The single player in question... We'll have to see. It probably follows a traditional campaign, maybe. But, yeah, this is Blitzkrieg 3. I will probably do more videos on it. As well as continue following up on its release. If you do want to pre-order the game and get access to the closed alpha, you can. I'll put the link in the description below. But you probably will only be able to access the multiplayer for a time. And then afterwards, they'll probably, like, release the single player aspect of the game. Now, if you do like these type of games, though, then you should probably be interested in this game. If not, well, if you don't like to, you know, build up your base and stuff and keep attacking and sending out forces, you might want to go elsewhere. And if you're a little bit worried about the balance, it is alpha, so don't worry about it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.